So for the wheel cutting we mount six blanks onto an arbor which has been pre-machined and uh, we secure the blanks with an end cap and uh, five screws. We then mount the mandrel into the headstock of the Shogun 70 lathe and we bring in a gauge in order to check the truth or um, concentricity of the mandrel. We just bring the pointer down until it touches the workpiece and then we can revolve the headstock by hand and as you'll see the gauge flicker as the tip or the measuring point just cleans a surface on the um, mandrel and as you can see now it's true and ready to start the machining. So we just use a, um, a sort of standard sort of module cutter and on each tooth we make four passes and that just makes sure that we get a very good high quality finish and at the end of each tooth we step round with the dividing head which counts off the number of teeth and again we make the next four cuts to cut each tooth. So we continue this process all the way around the wheel. Making wheels using this, these type of methods is very time consuming but when we are only really concerned with making very very small batches for our yearly production of 10 pieces then it really does suit our method of working and when you are concentrating on such small parts the attention to detail can be so much greater in the future of mass produced components. So here we are just finishing the wheel off now taking its final cut and we'll bring the machine to stop now and we'll be able to remove the mandrel and take off the, the wheels. So just finish undoing all the screws and then we can gradually ease the wheels off the mandrel. And there we have the six finished wheels which are now ready for finishing. And then to the right you can see just two wheels which are part of the next batch with the tags on ready for cutting.